I took a big step in uh, dental dental health. I had to go and get some um, dental work done, and uh, Alicia's been pushing me to do it. Uh, it wasn't something I didn't want to do. It was just something I was gonna do eventually, but not right away. But she kept pushing me, pushing me, pushing me. So I said, okay, dental health is really important, you know, for your physical health. So I went ahead and just surrendered to the process, and and they had to do uh, this oral surgery, and I, I, I wanted, I told my wanted to get some implants to really. Um, tighten up some stuff and uh, they did so they put me under and it, came, it turned into like a little bit of a shit show my blood pressure spiked um, during the procedure or well, like way over 200 or over or something like that and uh, that became kind of an issue and I didn't even know about it till I woke up so it's literally like 14 hours of being in a dentist chair it was only supposed to be seven hours it was it was it was pretty fucking terrible but you know, but it was like, it was almost like, it wasn't, it's, it's like, as I tell the story, it sounds terrible. But going through it, even as I was going through it, I was like, this is really terrible. But it was just like, okay, you know, I'm just here. Like, I, I really didn't, I wasn't as uncomfortable as I actually feel like I should have been just describing the story. It sounds terrible, you know, but because they gnawing on your teeth and all that for 14 hours. But it wasn't that bad. It was just like, okay, all right, well, let's do what we got to do. I gotta blend my food while I got my dental work going on. It drives me crazy because I want those wings. But I how I got these shiny teeth. issue his blood pressure as soon as we put him under his blood pressure shot up and they said it went up above 200 and I was like hmm okay <laughs> and they said we're gonna bring him up it's gonna take him a while and then we're gonna finish the rest of it while you were awake how long was I under so they put you under around eight or nine o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. you did not come to till one, one oh really p.m. and then they would not let me leave what time did they tell you that I was that they had to bring me up um, probably around 11 or noon. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, and so I had to sit there and wait for like an hour or so. I don't feel any anxiety about that. That whole, you know, it's like uh, something about something about dying in your sleep, possibly. Like, I don't want to die. I wouldn't want to die, but it's like it just doesn't, it's like, well, <laughs> you know what I mean? I wasn't I, I, for you to go. I, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, 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 I, I won't be. Hold on, dental surgery that I pushed you into. Because I was being pushed. Oh, uh-huh. You were. I told I you. And, um, and I can be sometimes. And so I tell boys to just tell me, Alicia, you're being too pushy.